Hi, Tim. Hi, how are you? Welcome to The Quint. Thank you. Uh, you told me that you saw Terminator 2 when you were 27 and it completely blew your mind. What was the one element in that film which really blew your mind? Uh, I think it would probably be the same for everyone. It's the shot where the Terminator crashes the big truck and walks out of the fire uh, in his chrome form. It's a pretty amazing first shot. Um, and as someone from the visual effects industry, I realized just how hard that was to right. do back then. You know, Now it's trivial, but back then it was a major feat of visual right. effects. There's some amount of political commentary in your film, uh, especially the sequence at the Mexican detention center where the detainees are set free. I think it's quite powerful when you put political commentary, however subtle, in popular culture, especially films. What is your view on that? Do you agree? Th this is not a movie where I, you're supposed to make personal political statements, right? Uh, and, and I didn't feel the need to make one. Personally, I'm pretty far left uh, of center and I, I feel I feel those social issues keenly, even though I'm a lazy f and I don't do anything about it. Um, but in the case of the, you know, the border crossing, I really tried to sort of keep a center ground where I think uh, on the ground what's happening is, is rough for everybody. Um, the, I feel for the immigrants crossing the border and I feel for the guards uh, and the people of law enforcement who are just trying to do their job. They're not cruel people, they just have a job to do. And that is sort of the center line that I was trying to walk. The f***ed upness is politics. And uh, I, we luckily didn't have to deal with that part. You spoke about that action sequence in Terminator 2. We've advanced so much in VFX, but still that action sequence where that bike and truck chase, that's almost unbeatable. As a filmmaker, looking back, what do you think about that whole choreography of that scene is that really makes it so timeless? I think the way Jim manages to focus on characters in the middle of an action scene uh, is pretty amazing. Um, it's not just explosions happening, it's explosions about to engulf the characters that you care about. Um, right. and, and that's what keeps you invested in it and on the edge of your seat more than the action itself. You know? right. What was the most memorable aspect of working with somebody as legendary as Arnold Schwarzenegger as a director-to-actor relationship? Arnold is the most user-friendly uh, actor imaginable. Um, he says, just tell me what to say and where to stand and what to do and I will do it. Um, you know, he has his opinions and he gives them to you, but Arnold is amazing. He's, and, and I mean, he'll offer advice like if I say, Oh, let's let's do that with a, a bit of attitude, and he would say, mm, "Terminator Tim, you know, I don't. They don't have attitude, uh, <laughs> or things like this." But um, but he's really uh, willing to engage in in the conversation. But but ultimately, he's he's just direct me, um, and it's great. Uh, you know, I even it's even though it's Linda Hamilton, and she knows this character, and all of the, our cast were super accomplished. I never felt like. I, I never felt like it was a negotiation. It was always a conversation um, about what was best for the character or the scene or whatever. Um, and that's the way it should be, I think. Is he a man of many moods? Did you have to deal with that? <laughs> no, no, Arnold, Arnold was almost always in a, in a good mood. Um, uh, when we did the reshoots, uh, he, he, he had uh, had an injury to his leg and he was, he was actually in a lot of pain and, and uh, and you know, the most I ever got was, Tim, I might not be at 100% because I'm in a lot of pain. Right now, I don't normally say this, but <laughs> you know, but he still focused uh, on it totally there. What was the most tough scene to shoot in Terminator, Terminator Dark Fate? Mm. Tough for you as a director. It could be getting a certain emotion out or an action sequence. It, it, is, it is always the emotional scenes that I, I think are the toughest. Um, there's a, a scene in a motel room where there's a lot of emotional um, beats to it, uh, particularly with Linda. And it wasn't tough because I knew, because Linda nailed it, and I knew that she would, but it was tough because you know going in that if you don't hit just the right tone, um, it could you know hurt the movie in a substantial way. It's a critical sort of emotional point uh, that has to be handled very delicately and you never know going in if you're going to be able to to do it or everybody else around the actor is going to do it and and Linda just 
crushed it. Thank you so much. No, all the best for Terminator Dark Fate. Thank you very much.